I'm going to take a look at the pick five sequence for Monday night at Yonkers Raceway. It's a 50 cent base bet. Begins in race five, has a $10,000 guaranteed pool. In the first leg, I'm going three deep. In race five, the two artist best, nine to two, will fade the morning line choice number one. Kerford Road, who's looking for three in a row. We use the D. Domenico trainee and George Prennan. Should be able to work an efficient trip and could post the first win in 2024. The three Rose Run X Con is four to one. Is also looking to get off the Schneid in 2024. Needs a trip to win, but makes a second start at this level and can beat this group with a sharp steer by Brent Holland. The seven Tin Roof Raiders eight to one. Another without a picture in 2024 has had some excuses, but Jason Bartlett sticks, come back in sequence, and has enough gate speed to get a close-up seat. And race six going three deep again. The one Juke. Rockin' Jukebox, 5-2, to two, wired the field last time when dropped to this level, draws the rail again, and could double up. The 3, Stone Bridge Rex is 5-1. to one. The Stafford Barn has been clicking, and the 6-year-old usually races well after missing a start. The pace could be honest, and could roll by down the lane. The 4, Euphoria, and 5-1, to one. not sure the 5-1 to one morning line holds up. Has good gate speed and could get the jump in this crew. Race well in the first start at Yonkers this year. Could be on top or in a two-hole tonight and looks like a main player again. In race seven, I'm singling Raining Dale. Nine to five choice. The one horse beat the $40,000 claimers two back. Destroyed the $50,000 claimers last week. Draws the rail and all systems should be go to make it three straight. In race eight, the two, my ultimate star, a is 5-2, to two, needs the right setup because lacks gate speed but can close in a hurry, using as there are two or three in this field that can leave and the pace should be quick. The three, tough enough to wear pink, is 3-1 to one in the morning line, beat this kind last week by wiring the field, can also win coming off cover, and not sure landing on top and going to the half of 57 seconds will work again. But Jordan Stratton knows how to read a race and best to respect a double up possibility. In race 9, going to close it out. Using three horses, the one Backstreet Shadow 2-1 to one, started inside last week, caught the field and rolled by with one strong move. Matt Kakaley could follow a similar plan here. The two is covered bridge, 7-2 in the program. Not sure if a win helps this veteran at this point get into the Borgata Finals, but either way he will try to win. Desperate Man has been a monster, so coming second to him is not an embarrassment and may fare better tonight. The five, Coach's Corners, 3-1 to one in the program, has been a second-place finisher in all four Borgata races. Probably comes off its top effort last week, and it's best to not overlook. The 50-cent ticket reads 237 with 134 with 1 with 23 with 125 for $27, and good luck.